Mm, what's up guys and welcome to another episode from me, the Scavenger, and today we are gonna talk about Is Slow King better than Slow Bro? Now, this is a very convoluted and tough question to ask because we're we're asking a Pokemon that is pretty much the same but still not and they are separated by a tier even which showcase what they're used for. Now, what separates a Slow King from a Slow Bro? Well, it's not much. It's even so bad that it's only one stats that are swapped. Um, Slowbro has 110 defenses and 80 in special defense, while Slow King has 80 defense and 110 in special defense. These two stats are swapped between these two, as you guys can see. It's actually kind of funny how much that really does between these two. And of course, Slowbro has the Mega Form. Now, before going into this further, I'm pretty sure Slow King is going to get the same treatment as uh, Slowbro did. That is, that it, these stats are going to be exactly the same, but swapped since it actually remained its special defense on 80. Now, before we're going in deeper, why is Slowbro in OU while. Um, Slow King in Yu-Gi-Oh! and even in RU actually, since the previous uh, Smogon uh, change. Well, Slowbro's stats makes it able to deal with the biggest physical threats in the tier. That is, Landers and actually Charizard X. It can deal properly with them. It's not a direct counter to it, it's more that it can take the damage, it can uh, sustain itself against that and actually build upon it. Now, Slow King doesn't necessarily work like that, and with those defenses that Slow King does, it takes those hits much, much worse. Now, what does Slow King do better than Slowbro? Well, those 110 special defense make sure that the other things that counter Slowbro can Slow King not counter, but he can take it better. For example, Thunderous, Superior, and of course, Raikou can necessarily not two hit KO. Okay, Slurpur can do with KO the Slow King if it is fully invested. Now, this is the thing, and this is actually the thing that's going to matter. They have the same direct counters in OU, which of course being that they can't deal with the special setters better than the physical setters due to the special hitters in its receptor tier. It's much, much harder hitting in the special side than the physical side. And like I said, Slowbro can deal better with those physical hits, which Slow King cannot. And that is what separates that, because Slowbro actually do work due to that. But if we have to put these two against one another, who would win? Who would be the better poke? I truly believe Slow King would. And uh, it's only because of really one reason. And it's one reason that makes Slow King a bit better. Now, they share to 98% the same move pool. They have so many attacks. They are like Needle King and Queen, really, when it comes to their move pool. It is really, really, really broad. And together with Regenerator and Slack Off, these guys are very, very sustainable in a Wi Fi battle. But the things that separates them is what they learn. In their 30s, while Slowbro gets the massive and really, really good move that nobody ever will ever use because it really sucks, withdraw at level 36. Slow King gets nasty plot. Yes, you heard me. Nasty plot. And the thing with that is that that is just a whole other ball game with Slow King because Slow King, like I said, is not much better than Slowbro. They share a lot of things and traits together. But Slow King can actually build upon his special attack much faster than a Slowbro can. Which means that Slow King is a superior choice when it comes, for example, a Trick Room move or a Trick Room um, team. Or even if you can actually rely on that special defense, you can actually build yourself upon with just um, building up your special attack. And yeah, I truly believe that that is what makes Slow King slightly better. I say slightly because, like I said, they share so many traits that it's not even funny to try to differentiate these guys too much. But I think that Slow King gets too much of um, not hate, that's not the right word, but it's cussing Slowbro gets so much love and Slow King is usually forgotten when it's really not a whole lot separating these guys. Like I said, I see the reason why Slowbro is in OU and Slow King is not. But. That still doesn't mean that Slowbro is necessarily better. In a league format, I'll easily choose a Slow King over a Slowbro. Mostly because 
of uh, the things it can build itself upon that slow king or slow bro cannot uh, slow bro is much more reliable to a calm mindset to work which is a slow process and can be easily checked and countered while slow king usually get a good hit in before going down now what would you choose getting a pokemon wheel down or actually taking it out before you're going down yourself i rather take down the pokemon i rather do that so yeah that will be all for this video and i really want to hear of course your thoughts on slow king and slow bro um is there a reason you're preferring slow bro and if so do tell and if there's a reason you might would think slow king is better to share that intel <laughs> i mean like i said they share so many traits and i can see why they are separated by tiers i i actually do but um, i never got why slow king got so forgotten and slow bro just got got all the love when there are just very very few things that separates them apart so anyway guys want to thank you for watching and uh, like i said leave the comments down below i do love reading what your thoughts on this and yeah until next time guys take care bye